We've completed the oral reading fluency test with the student, the miscue analysis, and the retelling and comprehension protocols. So now we're going to take a look at where the student falls on the continuum. Continuum provides descriptors for intervention, instructional, independent, and advanced levels. And within each of the levels, it is looking at discrete skills such as expression, phrasing, and accuracy. In our school board, we do not record words per minute and focus instead on the quality of the read, including pacing and expression. The intervention level for expression indicates that the student reads with little expression or monotone. Instructional has the student reading uh, with some expression that conveys meaning. Independent reflects mood, pace, and tension at times, and advanced reflects mood, pace, and tension most of the time. During the read that we recorded, the student um, would fall within the independent range, so I'm going to circle that there. Moving on to phrasing, intervention level describes this as mostly word by word. Instructional short phrases most of the time may include inappropriate pauses. Independent longer phrases most of the time heeds most punctuation and the advanced descriptor is consistently longer meaningful phrases heeds all punctuation. Our read would indicate that this student is also um, here at the independent level. The oral reading subtest indicates that the student is reading at an independent level as she made five errors during the read. Therefore, in the accuracy section of the continuum, which is number of miscues not self-corrected, we are going to place the student in the independent range as she made five miscues during the read. On the continuum for comprehension, we're also going to be looking at discrete skills in the intervention, instructional, independent and advanced level. The discrete skills in comprehension uh, include prediction, retelling sequence of events, retelling characters and details, retelling vocabulary, retelling teacher support, interpretation, and reflection. Intervention level for prediction indicates that the student um, makes unrelated predictions or no predictions. Instructional has a student making at least one reasonable prediction. Independent makes at least two reasonable predictions and advanced makes at least three thoughtful predictions. The student we assessed made three thoughtful predictions about the story. So I've circled the advanced level four for this skill. For retelling sequence of events, the student uh, did retell most of the important events from the beginning, middle and end, mostly in order, did miss some of the events. So we're going to circle the independent level here um, retelling characters and details. Yes, the student uses all characters' names, including most of the important details, inc includes no incorrect information. Circle the four here. Retelling vocabulary. Correctly uses many story-related words as independent correctly uses many story related words and some more advanced words. Uh, so I'm going to um, circle the three here because I don't recall any advanced words being used. Retelling teacher support. Uh, the student needed one prompt, so we're gonna circle the uh, independent level here because she did need some prompts and a level four would indicate 
She needed no prompts. Under interpretation, Um, this student shows insightful understanding and includes important supporting details. So I'm going to circle the four here. And finally, under reflection. So independent is, identifies an important event and at least one specific reason for response. Identifies an an important event and at least one specific reason that shows critical thinking. So I don't think she's there yet, so I'm going to circle the independent um, box for this one. When we take a look at the student's uh, skill range on the continuum, it would indicate that her oral reading fluency is falling solidly in the independent range. And for comprehension, her skills also fall for the most part within the independent range and she demonstrates some skills in the advanced range. We are now ready to complete uh, page one of the teacher observation guide for benchmark book level 20, Cousins Camp. Um, make sure to fill in the student's name, the teacher, the grade, the date the student was assessed and whether the teacher or student chose the book. In this case, it was the student. We determined that the student's oral reading fluency is independent, comprehension independent, and the overall performance is independent. Finally, we're looking at a focus for instruction moving forward for this student, and we can choose up to three areas. So um, we're going to be looking at uh, practice with phrasing, retelling sequence of events, and also retelling vocabulary.